the collection of jewellery owned by Wallace Simpson, the Duchess of Windsor, is legendary and reflects not only the opulence of her time, but also the profound love story between her and Edward VIII, who became the Duke of Windsor after his abdication. Her collection is known for its diversity, uniqueness, and the personal stories each piece carries. The Duchess wasn't shy about bold choices. She favored large, colorful gemstones and geometric designs. Her collection included a massive 47-carat yellow diamond ring, a ruby and diamond necklace designed by Van Cleef and Arpels, and a spectacular emerald and ruby bib necklace by Cartier. The Cartier Diamond Cross Bracelet The bracelet is composed of a series of crosses, each gifted to Wallace by her husband, Edward, the Duke of Windsor, to commemorate special occasions during their life together. The crosses are made of gem set and diamond, and they hang from a platinum link chain. Each cross on the bracelet has its own story, with inscriptions on the back that mark specific events, such as anniversaries and birthdays. Cartier crafted the crosses over several years, starting in 1933, and their variety in design reflects the Duchess's eclectic taste and the evolution of style over the period they were presented. The symbols on the bracelet are not just religious in nature, but represent pivotal moments in Wallace and Edward's life together. They were a deeply personal record of their shared experiences, their travels, and their mutual love and support. The elegance of the bracelet lies in its simplicity and in the sentimental value of each cross. It could be seen as an emblem of their controversial union, each cross a reminder of the sacrifices made and the obstacles overcome in the name of their relationship. Upon the Duchess's death, the cross bracelet was included in the famous Sotheby's auction in Geneva in April 1987. The jewels were bought by the anonymous bidder, fetching a record price of 31 minas seven times the pre-sale estimate. The Flamingo brooch stands out as one of the most iconic and artistic pieces of jewellery in the history of fashion and royal adornment. Crafted by Cartier in 1940, the Flamingo brooch is a masterpiece of design and craftsmanship. It is set with a multitude of precious stones, primarily diamonds, rubies, sapphires, and emeralds, which together create a vibrant palette resembling the flamingo's distinctive pink hue and the tropical environment it inhabits. The body and long neck of the flamingo are elegantly fashioned from diamonds, while the bird's feathers are artfully depicted with calibre-cut rubies, sapphires, and emeralds. The leg of the flamingo is humorously and thoughtfully extended upward as if the bird is tucking it beneath its body. This brooch is indicative of the innovative and daring style of the time as the world was moving away from the more traditional jewellery designs of the previous decades. The PC also reflects the Duchess's love for statement pieces that were both playful and luxurious. The Van Cleef and Arpels Rubies Commissioned in 1937, the year Duchess of Windsor married the Duke of Windsor, the collection symbolized their fiery love story and her entry into the highest echelons of European society. The suite consisted of a necklace, bracelet, and earrings, and was crafted with meticulous attention to detail that Van Cleef and Arpels is renowned for. Each piece showcased a striking combination of vibrant rubies and dazzling diamonds, set in a floral motif that was both feminine and bold. The necklace, often considered the centerpiece of the collection, was designed to be convertible and could be worn in multiple ways, including as a single or double strand or with the addition of a pendant. The rubies in the collection were of exceptional quality, with a deep red hue that glowed warmly against the skin. Their rich color contrasted beautifully with the brilliance of the diamonds, 
making the pieces versatile enough to adorn a variety of Wallace's ensembles, from evening gowns to more casual attire. Emerald Engagement Ring The Emerald Engagement Ring of the Duchess of Windsor is a piece imbued with as much romance and controversy as the love story that it symbolizes. When Edward VIII decided to propose to Wallace Simpson, he did so with a ring that was as unique as their relationship. The ring, created by Cartier, featured a stunning 19.77 carat emerald. This choice of stone was unusual for an engagement ring, as diamonds were the more conventional choice, but it was befitting of Wallace Simpson's distinctive style and the non-traditional path their relationship was taking. The emerald was set in platinum and flanked by diamond side stones, but what made it even more personal was the engraving. Edward had the inscription, We are ours now, 27X36, engraved on the ring, which signified their initials, Wallace and Edward, and the date he proposed, October 27th, 1936. The selection of an emerald could be seen as symbolically significant. Emeralds are often associated with hope, renewal and love. The stone's vivid green hue also matched Wallace's striking eyes, a testament to Edward's attention to detail and personal touch. Throughout their marriage, Wallace was photographed wearing the ring on numerous occasions and it remained a prominent symbol of their union. In 1957, for her 20th wedding anniversary, Wallace turned to Cartier to remake the ring into a more extravagant gold and platinum piece that was in keeping with mid-century style. The new ring has been crafted from 18K yellow gold and the central emerald is now set with round, brilliant cut diamonds with floral motifs. Van Cleef and Arpels, ruby and diamond leaf brooch. In 1936, it became obvious that Edward VIII would abdicate his throne rather than give up Wallace Simpson. While he negotiated his departure, he ordered Wallace's Christmas present from Van Cleef and Arpels, a ruby and diamond brooch, described as feathers or holly leaves. This brooch would turn out to be a historically important jewel as it was one of the first to feature Van Cleef and Arpels legendary mystery set technique. The mystery set was invented in 1933. The technique involves mounting stones into extremely thin gold rails, making the prongs invisible. The stones are specially cut with a groove near the collet so that they can be slid onto the rails and placed alongside neighboring stones. The jewel was preserved intact and was sold at auction in 1987 for a stunning price of $86,000, the emerald necklace. In 1960, Cartier created a necklace for the Duchess of Windsor with five pear-shaped clusters. In the center of each cluster was an emerald surrounded by a luxurious border of baguette and marquise diamonds. The sides and back feature semicircular links with round and square-cut diamonds. The central emerald weighed 14.61 carats. The necklace featured an original pear-shaped emerald weighing almost 49 carats, surrounded by diamonds of various cuts purchased from Harry Winston that same year. It can be worn separately as a brooch. The stone is said to have been the property of King Alfonso the Thintes of Spain, which he sold after his exile. Harry Winston presented the Windsors with an emerald in exchange for several oriental ankle bracelets which the Duchess wore as a necklace. This piece of jewellery contained 52 pear-shaped cabochon emeralds and 28 rose-cut diamonds. These jewels were once owned by Sita Devi Sihib, a Maharani from Baroda who sold them to a jeweller in 1953. They say that Wallace and Sita were sworn enemies, but one day they met and the Maharani said with malicious joy, The emeralds that now adorn your neck once caressed my feet. After this, Wallace sent a letter to Harry Winston, saying she would like to return the necklace and exchange it for other jewellery. The pear-shaped emerald was then suspended from a new Cartier necklace. 
the Duchess appeared in it at many social events and wore it for photo shoots. The fate of the collection after the death of the Duchess. A year after the Duchess's death, in 1987, much of the jewellery that belonged to their family was put up for auction at Sotheby's. The price for the collection, 53.5 million, was the maximum price at that time for the sale of collections of one owner. Over 200 items were sold during the auction, including the famous engagement ring. Proceeds from the sale were donated to the Pasteur Institute in Paris. The Duchess's jewellery has been scattered across various owners and collections worldwide since the auction. Specific pieces have resurfaced at auctions, fetching high prices and continuing to captivate public interest due to their historical significance and the love story they represent. Journalists called the relationship between the Duke and Duchess of Windsor the most beautiful love story of the 20th century. The romantic story of a couple in love who united their destinies for life is inextricably linked with the history of fabulous jewellery, which is still the subject of legends. Given the unique history and the iconic status of these jewels, what piece from the Duchess of Windsor's collection do you find most fascinating, and why? Is it the artistry, the history behind it, or the romance that it symbolizes that captivates you the most? Please write in the comments below. Thanks for watching.